everybody. So today is uh, week one, day three of Stay Home, Stay Safe. And so today is Donairs. And these are so authentic and so delicious. Down the States, they call them heroes. And I think somewhere they call them, it's like shawarma or something. Anyways, it, usually in Canada, we call it, call it Donair. And it's uh, basically an original recipe out of like Halifax area. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also do an East Coast garlic sauce with the uh, roasted garlic aioli. Because it's just Dave and I, I'm just going to do a half recipe. And I've usually got, you know, a packet like on the go because I always like um, sprinkling it on chicken and things. You guys have probably seen me do it that way. I just sort of cross cut into chicken, sprinkle it right in and pan fry it. There's so many different things you can do with this. I've made burgers with it and all kinds of things. But today I'm going to do the actual uh, donair meatloaf. So what I'm going to do to start off is I'm going to put a rubber glove on because my hands don't do too well with um, raw meats or, or chickens or that. So I'm just going to tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. There, that's a little bit better. Sorry for the hand there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that ground beef open. This is going to blow you away how simple this is. So I'm just going to put, this is one pound, so if you were doing the full recipe, you'd want to do it as um, uh, two pounds. And it makes ten servings, but again, like I'm just doing it half size for Dave and I. So you've got your hamburger meat in there. And then I had a half packet from before. So I'm just going to pour that in there. And then I'm going to add, it says a quarter cup water, so I'm going to want to half that. So I'm going to just take my half of a quarter, so an eighth of a cup of water. And that is all you need to add to this. So I'm just going to smoosh that up really good. See, this is the part where I need that rubber glove. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so amazing already. Okay. So I'm just going to mix that super, super well. I don't know if you can sort of see the spices in there. Oh my gosh, did you smell that? Absolutely amazing. One of my favorite, I, I have to say it's one of my favorite seasonings from Epicure. Now I've got my oven is heating up. And all I'm going to do is take our rectangular steamer. And I don't have to do anything to that because it's, already non-stick being the silicone. If I was doing some baking, like a another little um, thing I would, like a banana bread or a brownies or something, I would definitely want to do a little oil or something, but there's already enough fats and stuff in there. So what you're going to do with this is you're just going to press it down, oops, losing my glove, really, really hard because you want to really make it a really dense meatloaf. So just with the back of your hand, just keep pressing that down and just keep compressing it. So I mean, you know, when you look at that, if you guys have the rectangular steamer, you'll know that's a perfect size for probably two or more people. You'll probably get five, uh, five servings out of that one pound. So that's nice and pressed down nice and tight. So that's going to go into the oven. And that's going to cook for probably uh, close to an hour, just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So I'm just going to pop that in. There we go. Now I'm going to make up our uh, East Coast sauce. So you could do East Coast or West Coast. So West Coast would be a delicious tzatziki, and that's just plain Greek yogurt, lemon dilly, and some grated cucumber, a little bit of sea salt and black pepper to taste. Uh, I'm going to do East Coast, and that's a really nice sweet garlicky sauce. So I've got my ingredients here. I'm going to do half a cup of mayo, and I've got my little prep bowl, and I've got my measurements up the side. Love that thing. So, and again, I'm just doing a half recipe of sauce. So I'm just going to get half a cup of mayo in here. And again, this is, you know, more, I mean, it's nice if you have the 10 servings because then you have your leftovers, 
you know, but I'm getting quite a bit of leftovers because I've been cooking every day for you guys. Okay, so there's my half cup mayonnaise. And then it says quarter cup of milk, so I'm going to do an eighth of a cup or one and a half tablespoons. So there's one. And then one teaspoon and one quarter teaspoon. So that's, there we go. That's an eighth of a cup of milk. Then it asks for two tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to do the one tablespoon. And again, I use the organic cane sugar. And it also is asking for two teaspoons of vinegar. So I'm going to just do one teaspoon of vinegar. And one and a half teaspoons of the roasted garlic aioli. So I'm just going to do three quarters of a teaspoon. So there's on the back of there, there's a half and a quarter. Oh my gosh, that smells so garlicky already. I'm just going to take my little spatula and I'm going to blend that all up. There we go. And that sugar is going to sit and dissolve. So what I'm going to do when it comes time, and I'll be posting pictures along with this video, is I'll be doing uh, warming some pita bread up and uh, inside that pita we're going to add some lettuce, some tomato and some very thin sliced onion and then we're going to put our thin sliced doner meat and I'll, you'll see that from the other picture and then we're going to drizzle it with this amazing east coast roasted garlic aioli sauce. So there you have it. Donair on a Friday. You can't beat that. Part of the Stay Home, Stay Safe collection. Okay, so that's the meatloaf cooked. So it was in for an hour. And now I've let it cool for 45 minutes. Um, so the key with this is uh, when I first took it out of the oven, this was all filled with juice, um, you know, just because of all the fat and stuff that comes out of the meat. So I just drained that down the sink. And uh, so now I've got just this little meatloaf. And I've let it cool. This cuts way better and you can get it way thinner once it's cooled off. So I'm just going to flip it out onto the board. And again, this is just a little half size one for Dave and I. And I've got my ceramic chef knife, and that's going to help me slice it really thin. So I just very, very thin, thin, thin slices. And you can see how sharp this knife is. It actually is getting those paper thin slices that you want. So I'm going to slice up that whole meatloaf. And you can just see, oops, there you go. Nice and thin, thin, thin slices. So just like when you're in one of the... Uh, doner places and they're just shaving it off of the meatloaf that's spinning around in circles that's all you're doing with this so I just keep slicing that and then I'll post some pictures later um, once I've um, got it all ready to assemble okay bye for now